Hello guys, this is CIM Real Videos, and I'm going to do a video on weathering. And I don't know if you remember this or not, but I did this maybe two years ago or a year ago. No, a year ago. Uh, I made a video of my weathering job on this. I don't really like it anymore, and it's starting to wear off. So I'm gonna make a video on um, re-weathering this this uh, stat car model power. And I'm gonna start off showing what I'm going to use. Um, some fine paint brushes. I'll open this up so you can kind of see it. Got all kinds of paint brushes in here. I'm probably gonna be using this one. Um, let me see. This one too. This is probably my favorite one. Those two pieces. I'll close that. Looking at the paints now. These uh, art studio paints. They work well for uh, weathering. I find water paint, so I got my bowl of water over there. Some special pens for graffiti, and some Sharpies over there for some color. And so, let's get to two. Okay, so, first of all, we're gonna start by taking this, kind of wiping off all the stuff that's not really attached to it, just to get it cleaned all the weather part of the box. Get all the stuff off of it. So I have a I can paint it a little bit better. So there you go. This is probably one of the cars that I find I don't really care about that much. So I'm just gonna do some cool things with it. So we will start by painting it, I guess. This mixed with this is probably the best uh best option for with for uh, rust. I'm gonna start with the lighter one and I'll uh, open that. I'm just gonna put it on this paper towel right here so I can easily get it. And you know what? It's not even opened. I guess I'm just gonna have to open it right now. Uh, you know what? I ain't gonna have to stop the video right now to open this uh this paint because it's not even opened yet. So I will get right to it when I okay. Open. I am back with uh, another some more paints just uh to use here. It seems to be that I had the the wrong paint, so. I came back with the white paints now, so I will I will open the the paint. So I'm gonna start with this this one, the lighter the lighter rusty kind of looking color, and I will take it take the thing off. Oh goodness, it's not good. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna stick it on the ground. I think I kind of put gold in there. That was uh, pretty bad. I'm just sticking it out through this hole I made. That's about enough, I would say. I'm gonna keep it here so it just leaks out. Now, I'm gonna take this small brush, get it a little bit on my brush. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna start with the red box. I actually think so. I'm going to do this now. I'm trying to try to make it look as realistic as possible. So what I like to do is I just like to smear it all over, kinda go like that, and then grab the paper towel and then just kind of stick this on it. Um kind of like that, and then 
Now just go like that. So I'm going to start by making, um, I'm planning on making it really rusty on one side and then on the other side it's going to be a little bit less but still a little bit of rust. And once I get no paint on it and it's all off now, I still like to use it just to get that that little background color that I want. And do that. Go down. There, now I get that weathery look on the box there with that brown and overused and that's what I want it, want it to look like because you can see on the bottom here it looks really really good it looks like the color is starting to wear wear out a little bit and that's what I want so now I'm gonna grab a little bit more paint now and I'm gonna make a second coat but this time I'm just gonna be going down now grab a little bit more Yeah, just swatch it around here. Sometimes it's good to use your finger a bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna start off by doing this a little bit. Just giving it that look again. So I will get right back uh to you when I finish uh this box and then I'll show what it kinda looks like. Hello, welcome now we are back. And I have now completed one side, and the stupid camera's not focusing. Uh, but you can kind of get an idea on what it looks like. I just, basically, I just move it around a lot. Just try to get that weathery look on that I want. And now, if I just blow it there, now I can see it a little bit more. Okay, now the other side, I just wanted to quickly show you a different technique for what for uh, rust. And you can also grab grab a little bit of paint, just a tiny bit on your thing to get this hair off. Uh, get a little bit on, wipe it a little bit, until you have a tiny bit on, on the tip of your, your brush, and then kind of go down like this go across like that like bring it across like that and then smudge it down and then it kind of looks like it looked like rushing water coming down and it looks really cool let's do it again and a little bit of more paint on the brush this time Now, now look at that. Looks pretty cool. So I'm just gonna do a little bit differently on both sides, so you can see what it really looks like. The differences of the two different ways you can make rust. I actually think this side looks better. So I'm gonna make that weathery look again on the whole thing, and just go up best thing to do is do it, like, push it, sorry, I'm gonna put a little bit of water, that was pretty bad, and that, that's a cool way to do it too, if you put water on it when there's paint, and, and then you kind of put it across too. If there's lines, you can kind of get some rust going up it too. And that looks pretty realistic. I think I'm going to leave that too. Uh, I'm going to keep doing this though. You don't want it to look like a paintbrush has been spreading it and all cheesy. You want it to look actually realistic. And that looks pretty good to me. 
I think this is looking really good. Look at that. That looks... I can bring it back. There, that's better. You can kind of see it now. That's how, uh... That's how... That's a cool way to do it. Put some rust on. And now I gotta do the, the back down right there. And I know exactly how to do that. Basically, just uh, go like this. Get a little bit of paint on your brush. Put some like that on the top. Get your finger a little bit wet and then dry it on the paper towel and then swipe it down. Like that. And this isn't the best look, but this is kind of a cool way to do it. And just keep doing this till you think you're satisfied what it looks like. And then I'm going to get my finger a little bit more wet. I think I'm going to darken it a little bit. I think that looks a little bit too yellowy. So I'm going to grab it. A little bit of this dark paint and set it right here. That's good. Oh crap. I think I got lots of it on that. And there. That's not good. I'm gonna wash that. That was pretty bad. I guess it's going to have a brown look in it the rest of the time. So, I'm going to add... I'm going to get this wet first just to clear off all the yellow. Get a lip this brown on. And this is going to make it look a little bit more rusty. Just stick it on top of it. Probably a good idea to get it wet, too, so you still get that cool look that you made with your... With your uh, finger, but you, you want to make it darker. So just put a layer on top of this, on, on the yellow. Still, i probably put it down, just so it doesn't look like a brush again. And then on the top, you can go like this, but I just like the way you go down like this. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more dark. Still looks, it still looks really bad. You know, I'm just gonna use this pan here. And then stick the paint I want on. So, these are just techniques that I made up. Um, and I think they work pretty good. That's the back. It it looks really good, I think. I'll just let that dry. I'll bring it back and zoom in again. I hate it. I don't know why the camera sets it on digital zoom. I don't like it. But I'm already recording, so I can't fix that now. Um, I think I'm going to add a little bit on the there. So, yep, yeah, that's the back. And we will get right to the next box as soon as possible. And I think I'm just going to um, show it to you when I'm finished.